Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Hey everyone, welcome back to Owens Levine. I'm out here in our newly developed garden. Um, we made these we made these raised beds in the fall, um, so we just didn't show them back then, but we wood chipped the entire area and we're gonna be doing a no dig type method. Um, but today we have another section that we need to finish before we start planting this spring. And Dave is going to be showing you how we made these raised beds and we're gonna be making one more for you. This is the last area that we're gonna be putting another raised bed and we're gonna be doing a keyhole shape. So U shaped um, and we're gonna be planting a lot this spring. Um, everything in here should be full. We are going to be getting compost soon to fill up our beds and then after that we'll just have to top it off each year. So it's kind of a more expensive um, cost up front, but honestly making these raised beds costs next to nothing and we'll kind of explain how we got our wood and all that kind of stuff. So we are in the garage and we purchased all of this untreated lumber from a guy on Facebook Marketplace for two bucks a board. Um, the boards are one inch by six inch by seven feet. So $2 is really inexpensive. Um, we bought a hundred of these boards, just keeping in mind that we will be using them for lots of different projects in the future. They are untreated, but we prefer that for our garden because we don't want any of the um, stuff that they, any of the chemicals that they use to put, um, to make treated lumber to leach into our soil over time. So we are okay with having to replace boards as needed. Um, and honestly, if it, if like a whole garden needs to be replaced, we can just remove the boards and we would still have our no dig soil in place and our rows in place um so it won't be a big deal in the future and for future projects if we want to have treated lumber we can just use the stuff that you can paint on with a brush or a roller um, to treat the wood so overall sides will be 14 feet the back end will be fit or 10 feet middle row is going to be two feet wide so we'll have plenty of room to bring a wheelbarrow in there or our cart um, 11 feet, two feet, and then four feet at the bottom. And to match our other beds, I did incorporate a little flower box at the end of each row. Um, I'm gonna be putting flowers that I've grown uh, indoors out here just to attract some pollinators and that sort of thing. So we needed to make sure that we we're gonna have wood chips all around. So what we are gonna be doing is, this is our white garage. We're gonna have two feet um, space between the garage and the bed. Uh, this will allow us to walk over on the side, hang the gutters that we're gonna be hanging on the garage. Um, and then we're gonna have like a one foot wood chip path around these two edges and then this black part is going to be a dirt edge and that is going to just help us suppress the weeds keep the weeds out because we've got really weedy grass um, and it'll also give Dave a cleaner edge to mow on um, which I'm sure he will greatly appreciate <laughs> me letting or he's letting me take over part of the backyard with my gardening so um, that's the least I could do for him the way that we made this area was during the fall, I scoped out free cardboard boxes from a bunch of different stores in my area. I just called them each morning um, that I was free and said, hey, do you have any free boxes? And they would set them aside for me uh, and I would come at a certain time that we agreed upon to pick them up, load them into our car, and I placed this whole area is full of cardboard, so it's still here, but it looks kind of bad right now. We will be taking this up here um, later this spring and making the dirt path with this first foot, um, foot into the bed. And then the rest, I got free wood chips. Um, a neighbor was taking down a tree 
and the guys were just going to dump all of the wood chips like in a landfill. They gladly came and put them in our yard. It saved them a trip to the dump and it saved a bunch of stuff or a bunch of wood from a landfill and it gave us free wood chips. Now, the reason why we did this rather than just putting the um, beds on the grass was because we have extremely invasive weeds that grow in our grass and they would grow up from the bottom and all of our beds would be full of weeds within the first few months of us growing stuff. Um, so to, I use the same method that I used with this kind of row over here. If you remember with these rows over here, we had next to no weeds. I think I weeded these um, or this garden area twice last summer and it took me a total of 10 minutes each time because there were no weeds growing. We'll eventually take these up. They're pretty rotted by this time and we're going to replace them with a single layer of board as well. And finally, our lovely magnolia tree that Dave bought me for my first Mother's Day. We are going to be relocating to a different spot in our yard um, because we don't want it to eventually shade out all of our vegetables growing. Um, and then we are going to be putting a low growing bush of some kind that attracts pollinators. We're thinking maybe like a miniature butterfly bush or something like that, um, that only gets like two feet high or so. Um, I'm not sure. We'll just see what we can find, but that is the plan for this space. All right, so now I'm just gonna set up the tripod and Dave is gonna finish cutting all the wood and then we will assemble the garden boxes outside. I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down and now we are going to put it together. There are a few things that we assembled uh, just a little bit off of our original plans, but honestly, I think it looks fine. And it's gonna work out just the same as if we would have put those in a different spot. Um, the other thing that we're gonna have to do before we put soil in here, or right after at least, is build up the wood chips around the edges of these. Otherwise, when it rains, all of the compost will come out of the bottom um 
you can kind of see that we did that over here. So we basically have at least half a board buried, if not a full board buried under wood chips. Um, so we'll just go through and do the same thing with the keyhole bed um, as we did with the other ones. Okay guys, we'll keep you updated when we put in compost and start planting stuff, but thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We will see you guys next time. Bye.